Hey everybody, it's been a while and I've been wanting to share some of the things I've been doing with uh, collage. I've been jumping back into collage and, and doing a lot of things and I just wanted to share and um, just get some things out there. So I have a lot of different materials that I've created, uh, painted papers, mono printed papers, st hand carved stamp papers, torn up old artwork, digital doodles that I print out and use as collage materials, all kinds of things. And there were some materials that I was kind of sick of looking at and wanted to figure out a way to to do something with them. And I came up with, there's three or four, four of these collages. So these are basically pieces glued down and then I use some titanium white paint over top to kind of just like bring everything together and, um, you know, kind of give it a more all over even tone. So that's one. This is two. This is three. And this is four. I think out of all of them, I probably like this one the best. And perhaps this one as well. This one didn't really do it for me quite as much. And this one's kind of fun. So those were some of the first things I did within this last period of time. Like, let's just say like, I don't know, a month or two. And this was another one that I did at the same time. I was debating whether or not to do the titanium white over this one and decided not to. So this one got um, red colored pencil around all the different elements to kind of make them stand out. So from the same series, but just didn't do the same thing with it. So that's them. And then there were these. At some point in time, I pulled an old page out of one of my sketchbooks, like in the old book that I had paint on the pages. I took it and I tore it up and then I decided to, to just do a series of collages on them. I think that one went that way. And I thought these were kind of fun. So again, all the materials, everything that you see is always stuff that I created. These were like hand-drawn mandalas that I either digitized or redrew in an app and turned into a, a vector format. But everything is, it's all me, all paint, all the materials. It's something that's that's been important to me for the past I don't know. It's just something that's been important to me. I once got judged at a craft show when I was making jewelry and I was doing a lot of um, wire weaving and bead stringing and metal work. And one of the judges asked me if I made the beads and it just, it really put me off as to like, how much do you really need me to do for you to think that I've done enough? And it kind of just stayed with me to the point where, well, you know what, if I'm gonna do collage, I'm not buying anything, I'm not recycling anything, I'm gonna make it all out of things that I've done because I want to. So that was those. And then, uh, let's see. I have a thing for making like little folded objects and <laughs> doing things on both sides. Um, I don't really know what they're supposed to be, if it's supposed to be a book form or what, but I really enjoy doing things like this. 
I think it's a lot of fun. That's one of them. And then we have these, which have things on the front and in the back. I, I don't know why I do that because like, how would you frame it? Or maybe it's just meant to be displayed like this, you know, that you can look at things one way and then turn them over another way and enjoy them a different way on a different day. But yeah, so there's those. And here's a couple more things that are like that where they're one way on one side and a different way on another side. I really get a huge kick out of using little doodles and re like reproducing them and, and printing them out and, and doing scribbles and things like that and being able to kind of like repeat those things, you know, the more you print them or whatever, it just, it makes me really happy. So again, I don't really know what these, what these things are that I'm doing on both sides. And the funny part is that there's no base to this. Like I basically just start off with one piece of paper and just start gluing more pieces of paper to it. So there's no like foundational piece in here. And then I like trim the corners or whatever and, and kind of even things out. But yeah, so there's no, there's no base on these. Um, and then here's a bigger version of something similar where Oh, I really was sick and tired of looking at a lot of this material and I just wanted it to go away. So again, there's no base here. This was just me continuously gluing things together. So here's the one side and here's the other side. And I'm never a hundred percent sure if everything I have is done, you know, I could always go back and fiddle with it, but for the most part, this is where these things are. So lots of hand carved stamp things and yeah, all kinds of stuff. Then we have a couple more of these little bits that are collaged on both sides. Really makes me happy. I don't know why. I just have fun with it. I love I, when I love just like sitting and gluing stuff. It makes me really happy. Here's another one of those folded things. And then Let's see, I just started working on these two. I had these two things from a couple years ago that I cut out from whatever. And um, these old mat boards that were painted. I have a pile of painted mat boards from before I left my studio and I decided to glue these down. And these pieces were from a really large painting I did and tore up and and have all these different little sections that I can do different things with. And I decided to, to do this. I'm not a hundred percent sure that these are finished, but this is, this is where they are right now. And then we have this one. I really like this. This has a, an old torn up piece of artwork back here. I like this one, it's got gold on the edges. I keep thinking about maybe putting something on the back of this one. I'm really bad with understanding that the more stuff you glue onto board that it starts to warp, but there's another part of me that just doesn't really care. So there's that one. And here's this one. And I'm, I don't think this one's finished yet. I think I wanna add more gold around the edges but I think this is really fun. All, hard, all hand carved stamps. And then what's back here in the background, that was, that was a mono print that I did off of a jelly plate and then scanned it or photographed it and made it black and white and then printed it out and used that as collage pages. 
There's this one. This one's finished. I enjoy doing stripey things like this. It makes me happy. That one has some gold edges too. And this one, that one doesn't feel finished. We'll see what happens. This one I really like, but there's something missing from it. So work in progress. And then we have some little books um, from that big thing that I did and cut up with those yellow pieces. This was part of it, and I was going to do some kind of folded book. And I put gesso on the back because I, I didn't know if I was going to paint it or what I was going to do. And what I ended up doing was filling the back with hand-carved stamps. And I think at some point I'm going to put a cover on it. And I don't know, maybe I'll add collage to these areas as well. I'm not really sure yet. But that's that. And here's two more little folded books from the same materials that should get covers. And I don't know whether or not I'll put anything on the inside of them. We'll see. <clears throat> And then, let's see, here's another little folded book. This is all from like a single sheet of paper. And the pages are glued together and maybe I add more stuff to it, not sure. And then there's this one, again, just a folded book. Incomplete, more stuff to come. And then this one, <laughs> the one day I just felt like scribbling all over a big piece of paper. And then I turned that big scribbled piece of paper into a book. And I had these old digital scribbles that I had done and cut out. There was a period of time where I just enjoyed sitting around and um, cutting things out. Like it was really relaxing to me. And so I... I just added them into this little book and put this leather, it's not, it's not a leather cover, it's um, a painted canvas cover and put some more of the guys on the front and the back. It's got a, a gold spine. I think it's finished and that's it. That's all my stuff for now. So uh, yeah, just checking in. See you soon.